Yo, hello, hello. So this is another personal video because I haven't done one for a while and a lot had happened recently. So I just want to update you. And as you can see, I'm not in Switzerland anymore. I'm at my family's place in Germany. So yeah, basically work was super stressful. I worked so much. Like imagine waking up at eight in the morning and then working until seven in the evening at least like sometimes it got eight sometimes it got nine and sometimes even 10 or 12 and <laughs> and saturdays as well so it was really really tough and i really need to consider if i do the apprenticeship there i could do it but now i'm also kind of like yeah maybe looking for something else maybe in another company or maybe I go into a complete different field maybe into IT I was thinking because yeah working on computers I might could also contribute to some open source project or something like that so yeah it's a bit unsure it's basically completely unsure I don't know exactly what I will do in like half a year or so I send some applications and We'll try to talk to people and yeah, maybe see what happens. And otherwise, um, yeah, there was Easter. <laughs> so, you know, Easter is a big thing in Germany. It's just one of that traditions where people just consume as much as possible, basically. You know, there's the Easter bunny. Basically, you know, it started from a religion tradition. So basically, like Jesus died 2000 years ago. What the fuck? I mean, come on. <laughs> we are still doing this. Like, what is happening in our society? How retarded and ridiculous is that? I mean, yeah, I mean, religion is just the biggest bullshit that's out there. And now with that tray based culture where we just consume as much as possible it's basically yeah you know it's a it's a fucked up thing but of course it's also nice to kind of like meet with your family members and you're together and you have a nice dinner and yeah you also visit some other family members like your grandparents or cousins or aunts and so on but yeah you know what i mean maybe <laughs> i don't know but in any way, so um, now I'm trying to organize stuff. I'm also trying to calm down from all that stress, from all that work that I was doing. And um, yeah, I'm looking for a new laptop. This is the thing I'm working on right now. I ordered uh, this Tuxedo laptop. It's basically a laptop which is made for Linux operating systems. It is from a company in Germany, from Augsburg, and they are specialized on those. And it's a pretty decent laptop, it's pretty well made. It's a magnesium um, like case, I'd say. And it looks pretty good, or well, not bad, I'd say. But um, yeah, the touchpad is definitely not as nice as the one from my MacBook from 2012. Apple just makes really, really great um, touchpads. And um, yeah, but the power is crazy. Like there's a new AMD Ryzen 7 4800H, I think. So it's, I think, one of the most powerful processors out there right now. And it has 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one, no, 500 gigabytes of um, SSD storage. So it's a pretty like powerful laptop in a pretty slim design. And um, it's also pretty light, so really nice. The screen is just unfortunately a full HD screen and you know my MacBook from 2012 has a retina display and this is just nicer if you're used to it. So right now I am not sure exactly if I will keep that one. I ordered a Dell XPS 15 so I think that's one of the best laptops out there right now. Um, and yeah, let's see how that one is. I also had the Dell Inspiron 15 and I think the 7000 series. 
and I tested Tromjaro on it. It was surprising that basically everything worked out of the box. Like, um, I also made a short video about that. Hey, so I just want to let you know that I really fucking love Linux because it works on pretty much any kind of device. You know, I'm thinking of buying a new laptop because I have this old MacBook Pro from 2012 and it's only 13 inch and yeah, it basically can't handle video editing anymore. It only has 4 GB of RAM and I can't upgrade it because that's how Apple built it. So yeah, that's why I'm thinking of getting a new one. But yeah, isn't it cool that Tromjaro is running on this device from 2012 and basically everything works. The webcam works, the touchpad works, the keyboard works. Yes, I had to install one or two drivers also, but that was it. So and now I'm thinking of getting a Dell laptop and I ordered one and it's an Inspiron 15 inch from 2020 and it's this one and I mean the crazy thing is that everything works out of the box like I didn't have to install any kind of driver I can show you that the touchpad is working the keyboard is working and then the webcam as you can see is working as well and then the Wi-Fi is working, the Bluetooth is also working. <laughs> I mean, now <laughs> the highlight is that this is a touch one. So I can just scroll down and touch with, with my fingers on this device, like out of the box. Like I didn't have to install any kind of drivers. As you can see, I'm just testing Tromjaro in the live version. And it's so amazing. It's so cool. <laughs> I, cu I couldn't believe it. It even has a pen, like you know, a pen where you can write on your laptop and that works as well. It is, it is so amazing. It is so incredible. I really love Tromjaro and basically you can also install it on your device. I'm 99% sure that pretty much everything works and you can also test it with a live version. And it's just amazing even the speaker Yeah, basically the touchscreen walked out of the box, the pen even walked out of the box and yeah, it recognized the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the speakers and everything. So it's really, really good. Like it had some issues, like I remember the touch feature didn't work as good as with Windows when I tested it and also the pen didn't have all the functions and all the features that it had with Windows. So of course these are minor things like small issues but it's 
amazing if you consider that this is a pretty new laptop a pretty new model and linux just works on it out of the box without installing any kind of driver or so so i'm so amazed by arch linux by manjaro and by tromjaro because i used a live usb with tromjaro on it and yeah i will also run the dell xps 15 with tromjaro so maybe i can also do a video about that and then otherwise I'm trying to organize my trip to Spain because I really want to go there to visit Tio and Sasha and Georgie and also record for the Trump 2 documentary. This is something I would love to do as soon as possible. So yeah, I kind of like have to organize some things. Also, I have to take care of my insurance because right now I don't have any insurance. <laughs> And then, I don't know, I might do an apprenticeship this year. I think I will probably, like most likely do it because, yeah, otherwise what I'm gonna do? I, I need to get money in one way or another. So it's just probably the best if I yeah do an apprenticeship because then I learn some useful skills that I, yeah, maybe can offer to other people and help other people. So, um, it's always great to learn more and learn new things because yeah with knowledge you can do something with that knowledge if you know what i mean and then i also want to say that we made a lot of progress with the tron project you know we moved basically all the websites to our new server now everything works so much faster and i think is so much more reliable and the same happened with the German websites. We also moved to trade free directory. And you know, I'm also catching up with translations. I'm translating more and more from Jaro apps and also the new trom.tf website where we offer some trade free online services. And this is such a cool thing because basically since everything is trade free what we do, you can also just take whatever we do and make your own thing out of it. Or basically you can just copy it. You can, for example, install Unohost on your own server and then install a Frenica node or Frenica instance. You can also install a Peertube instance or your own Cirx instance. So it's just so amazing. And I also want to get into it. Maybe I'm also gonna install a Frenica node in German in the future, but right now I don't have the time and the energy and skills and so on. But this is something that you can get into and volunteer and like have as your own project and this is so cool and so exciting because right now there's Germany's next top model in the German television and I guess probably millions are watching that shit. I mean it's so retarded in what kind of ridiculous society we live in. I mean so really if you do trade free things or if you like work on some open source projects you are the coolest guy or girl who's out there and i really encourage you to do your own thing and give a shit about our society and do something which is interesting which excites you and where you wake up in the morning and you feel like fuck yeah this is so cool regardless of what everybody thinks like you know i'm 24 now i don't have an apprenticeship I don't have a study and I guess like a lot of people think of me as a, I don't know, I don't know what they think but I don't give a shit, you know, I'm going my way, I'm doing my thing and I encourage you to do the same. So yeah, that was it from here, I tried to record a new video for the Money Game and Beyond book soon, as soon as possible but right now I don't feel very comfortable here to record and there's also a lot of family stuff going on so I have to see. But I hope in the next two or three weeks I might be able to record a new video about the money game and beyond. And I look forward to that video and I say to you, see you then in the next video and as always, peace out.